This feeling is happy. Hello, my lovely. So it's been a while. I've missed you all. I have actually had a video in the making, and it's on my iMovie. And most of the clips have been recorded. I just wanted to make it super arty. Although when you see it, you're probably like, really? Really? But I wanted to try really hard to get like a high quality, really pretty video out for you guys. But it's taking a while. A while longer than I assumed it would. So, until that, until that comes about, I've got a haul for you guys. Let me just jump into the haul. I've been rambling. I'm so sorry. So, um... Yes, I will start off with, <laughs> right, instead of doing it by store, I'm going to do it by item. Now, the first thing I've bought is a lot of shoes. A lot of shoes. Now, the first pair I'll talk about is from Zara, and they are beautiful. They're nude, and they're the sort of Jeffrey Campbell-inspired wedge. I think it's Jeffrey, I'm pretty sure it's Jeffrey Campbell-inspired um, wedge, and then there's the, like, crossover at the front, and there's the buckle, and I just find them really cute, and they're from Zara, as I said. Now, the next three pairs um, are from repcheap.com or VIP Hip Hop or there's another one called Davideal. They've got three websites now so I'm going to put them all below, you should all go and check them out. Um, and I've got three pairs of shoes in order of when I received them because they were in three different packages. Um, now the first pair are these Louboutins and they're really glitzy and sparkly and nude. So they're not something I'd wear all, all the time. I just got them for my graduation because they're quite special and I just thought, you know, they're sparkly. And they're nude so they kind of had the whole kind of I don't know, they're cute, okay? Yeah, they are a replica, and I know some people are going to be massively against that, but personally, I'm, you know... I'm sat on the fence with it. Personally, I don't have the income to be able to go out and buy real shoes like that, so, you know... Such is life. Now, the next two pairs are high tops. I have been buying a lot of high tops lately. I love high tops. I don't know and there's why. one pair that I've been wearing literally every single day and they're these studded ones by Louboutin again and they've got the red soles, well the sort of red soles, I've been wearing them so much that like they're not really red soles anymore, they're kind of like black. Ridiculously um, good, like the quality is amazing. I really just love these shoes. Um, they're sort of a suede material and then they've got the silver studs um, and then inside is like a really soft like leather leather oh, I don't even know some of the stuff I've got by them is real leather so I'm, I'm a bit I'm a bit confused um but they're just fantastic these were I'll again put the links for these below I think this particular color is out of stock now because I, I tweeted them a few days ago and then suddenly they went out of stock um but they have got the black ones and a couple other colors and the leather ones um so if you guys want to go check those out that would be awesome now, the next pair is something that I've been looking at for quite a while and they're not something I'm going to wear very often so I didn't want to get like the real ones because I just didn't think I was going to wear them that often um they're like na Nike blazers and uh, as you can see I've worn them already they're a bit grubby but um something I would say about these they they're not perfect um the tongue is slightly um, like slightly pink toned um, but you can't tell once you've got them on. So much cheaper than the the, um, the real ones that you know that that's gonna that's gonna it's gonna be something that you know is gonna happen. But they're so good. And then that's all the shoes I've got. Too many shoes. I need to stop buying shoes. Now the next thing's a bit random, especially for me, and it is a hat. And it's a Supreme hat. Um, again from Rep Cheap. Um, and I just really like this. I'm I'm planning on wearing this at Reading. It looks quite cool sometimes. It looks good with headphones over the top for some reason. Um, but I just really like the hat. I think it looks good. It's got a supreme tag there. <laughs> um, but I do really, really like this hat. Um, I just think it's really casual and cute. And I know some people don't particularly like the whole snapback thing. Especially on girls. People will like, have this thing about snapbacks and girls. And it's like, no, you're a girl. You can't wear a snapback. I'm like, oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm female. I'm not that. Oh, oh, I didn't realise. Like, that annoys me. It annoys me when boys are like, you're wearing a snapback because you want attention. I was like, no, no, no. Hang on, hang about there, brother. That is not the case, and that really annoys me. So, any you're talking about the snapback beaches, and you can just jog on, in my opinion. That's all I'm gonna say. Me. Next thing is another accessory, and it's from Forever Twenty One. And I was so surprised when I found this. Like, uh, oh, I have a message. I have a friend. That's rare. Um, yeah, I was so surprised when I found this, and it's a belt, and it's got these spikes. And it's got the plate, like the Zara one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like the Zara one. And this was about fiver, like literally five pounds. Um, and I was so, so shocked when I found this. I wore it on a night out. And um, I gave someone a hug and they were like, ow, what? Ah, and they thought I'd stabbed them, but it was just these. 
So guys, if you're ever meeting meeting new people, don't wear this. They'll think they're trying you're trying to stab them. So the next thing I've received are two bags by RepCheap and I wanted to just check them out really because some of you asked in my last video what the quality was like. So I thought I'd check out some of their triple A quality. Um now these bags are the highest quality that they do. Um triple A or, yeah, triple A. And they're real leather and they're supposedly like the best replicas you can find. And to be honest, um my mum has one that's almost identical to this but this is a really really good copy so I was really impressed um, it's got the silver chain so I wanted something silver because all my stuff's black at the moment when I go on a night out you generally do wear silver if it's more of a formal event just because silver just works better <laughs> I don't know it looks more classy um, it's got the tiny Chanel thing like the real one yeah phone slot in the back um, lots and lots of pockets small but there's lots of pockets so you know it's good I like it I like this a lot um, so if you guys want a full review of this then comment below and I got some comments on my last one saying can you can you rep, can you find out about the rep cheap stuff so that honestly is one of the best quality bags I have it's real leather and I just love it and um, the next one was sorry it's got some stuff in it is my Prada bag which I showed in my favorites and again I've been using this so 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 much again really really good quality um, I just I just I've really been impressed with their stuff and yeah so that's that's my stuff from rep cheap and I've just really really been enjoying doing like communicating with them and they're such a fantastic company and I'd honestly recommend them to anyone. You should go and check them out. Also Davideal. Um it's a bit like Sally Dress if you know them or Romwe. Um but without the complications that Sally Dress comes with because I know Sally Dress has really messed people around um uh, and Romwe is just expensive. So it's a bit like that. You kind of got to delve into the pages of Davideal. I found that. Um but I can make a blog post of like my weekly favorites from there. I don't know if you guys want to see that. Let me. The know. next things are clothing items, um, and again, this is a this is a this is a collective haul, so there is a lot of stuff. I am sorry. Um, these are from Forever Twenty One, and they're like these pleather and chiffon shorts. Um, they're just very flowy and light, and really good for summer. I've been really loving wearing it with like a wearing them with a sort of like a I don't know Zara shirt or even. Um, big baggy t-shirts, they all look really good tucked in. Oh yeah, I forgot the t-shirt I'm wearing, that's also from Rip Cheek. Um, it is a Givenchy top, again, Givenchy, um, and it's the shark one, with the shark mouth, and the mermaids, and the stars, and the numbers, and they also have this on Romwe for like the same price, sorry, for like double the price, sorry but no. Um, so yeah, really really happy with this. And the last two products are some things I've just wanted for so long oh my goodness left the best or last um now the first thing is a pair of jeans now i was watching a video about the comparison between journey by topshop and the american apparel easy jean and i was like oh blown away by how good the american apparel ones sounded so i went and tried them on and i was a, had a bit of a had a bit of a kerfuffle actually i went to one american apparel tried them on the button like comes away from the actual glue it's attached to on the other side of the button and i was just stood there like Oh gosh, am I going to have to pay for these? I've just... I hadn't even tried them on. I hadn't even got them on myself yet. I'd literally undone the button while it was attached to the hanger. And I was like... Oh. So I like walked out like, uh, I'm sorry, I've broken your clothes. Like, oh, all awkward. Except I said it more, you know, please don't, please don't charge me for this kind of thing. Um, and they didn't. They were just like, oh, we're going to get you another pair from the back. And they were out. I'll stock in my size. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's how I felt. So I was just super frustrated. So um, I went to another American Apparel and yeah, I got them from there and I was really, really happy. Um, they're a little bit pricier than the average jean. But if you do live in Japan, I'd recommend you go and check them out because in England, they retail for £25 more than they do here because the exchange rate's really good at the moment. So, so I'm just turning them inside out as I'm talking. Um, but yeah, the exchange rate's so good at the moment, I would recommend you popping over there like asap and picking yourself some some stuff up because the exchange rate's super good at the moment so i'm going to try and stock up because i leave in less than two weeks now so oh, incredible i've had five years here of kind of i want to go home i want to go home and then now i'm going home I'm like oh no i'm not ready no uh, no hang on give me another week but no sorry um so yeah i got the easy jean and it was so boring i got the black ones um now when i was doing the jean test you know when you put it around your neck these fit perfectly like crazy perfect like these perfect like perfect fit around the waist perfect fit around the bum but i've had some issues with the legs they are just a bit big like 
I wouldn't say I've got particularly skinny legs, but I wouldn't say I have particularly big legs. So it's kind of like, towards the top, I'd say they're a bit bigger. Towards the bottom, I've got like pigeon ankles. So I've had to roll them at the bottom so they'll fit around my pigeon ankles. But I'm thinking this happened with my disco pants, so when I put them in the wash a few times, they'll probably shrink down to my size, so that'll be good. Uh, oh, I was just walking over to get my other thing from the um, other side of my room, and I remember that I had another thing to haul. And I got Assassin's Creed 2. Ah! I know it's old. But I really, really enjoyed the like, story of this one when I was playing it around a friend's house. Um, so I've decided to get it, and I've not been addicted yet because obviously I've got my exams, so I've been trying to not get addicted to it. But at the same time, I have played it a little bit, and I've missed it. <laughs> so I want to get Spyro again because I've missed Spyro. Oh my gosh. Love Spyro. And Rayman. Oh my goodness, don't even get me started. Don't even get me started. Have you seen the trailer for The Last of Us, by the way, anybody? I know this is primarily female audience, but if anybody's got to support in the video and have seen the trailer for The Last of Us. Ah, amazing. Okay, so the last thing in my video is the Urban Ears. Ah, I got these cream headphones. Now, cream's a funny colour. I didn't want the white, and I didn't want the black. I kind of wanted it in between, so I got the cream. And these are the headphones, so they look like on and I just love them, they kind of blend in with my hair which kind of sucks. If I started speaking really loud just then that would probably be because I, these are so good at sound counselling. Counselling? Really good at counselling the sound. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. It's like a mesh, like a foamy mesh material here and then on the sides it's just like a, a matte plasticky kind of, you know that material that you feel like if you're gonna scratch you would leave a mark? It's like that kind of frosted plastic. Adjustable arms, arms, the headphones, arms, I don't know, um, and then there's the little urban ears tag, so you all know this stuff's legit, but yeah, so that was that, and these were on sale in a shop local to me, um, so if any of you live in Tokyo, um, Hero Arobo, go check them out, they were 3,000 yen, so that's like 20 pound, yeah, probably about 20 pound, and they're like 75 in England, if not like 50. But either way, they were cheap. I was happy. All right, they were lovely, so I'm gonna go and do some more revision and try and get this edited before I go to bed. It is currently eight, half eight. I don't think I'm gonna get this video <laughs> edited tonight. Yeah, that's all from me. Um, I will speak to you all soon. I have my graduation video coming up very soon as soon as I get it edited. It's just taking me ages. I'm sorry, I'm not an artistic genius. Anyway, lots and lots and lots of love. I dive into frozen waves with a past